Let's talk about paper recycling, the issue that we face today. So um, uh, we work with our customers and understand how they use, knowledge workers use documents to do their jobs. And we go out and look in offices today, and the reality is most people store their information digitally on their computer. But they still produce print because it is nice to take notes on, easier to read and, and interact with. But those documents have a lifetime of about a week. 75% of the documents in the office are thrown out within a week. 50% um, within a day. And so we're really looking at a technology that's going to enable us to improve the environmental impact of that. In today's society, um, energy use clearly is a, is a significant issue for us and the impact on the environment. And it turns out we've invested to get our printers to be more and copiers to be more energy efficient over the years, about a 3x improvement in the last 10 years, to the point where now the energy to produce a sheet of paper is about 20 times the energy to print on it. So if we could somehow reuse that piece of paper, we would have a significant impact on, uh, on the environment for our customers. Yeah, I think you've brought some stuff to show us. So let's move down to our equipment here. And for our events people, note this is the first official appearance of a hot plate on the Gartner stage. <laughs> well, you said you wanted to look inside the labs, and so I brought some of my lab equipment with, with me. And so the way that this uh, re-imageable, reusable paper works is it actually is similar to a technology. I don't know if any of you have glasses that turn into sunglasses in the light, photochromic lenses, I do. It uses a very similar approach. So I'm going to show you here if I can. I don't know if this is going to show up real well, but I'll do it against my white shirt. I have a LED here that's a UV LED. And I'm going to turn that on high, and I'm going to shine that on my sunglasses, my glasses rather, which will turn dark. Then, oops, here. Okay, where so I the shown that light. light causes a chemical reaction that makes the glasses go dark. So now I'll take a piece of paper. This would be a special reusable paper, and it's coated with a, a substance similar to that. You see it's a plain piece of paper with no markings on it. And I'm going to shine that light for a few moments. And what you're going to see then is the image from that UV LED. Now this is two-sided, right? So you can flip it over? I can flip it over. I can do it on this side. Oops, a little long. Oh, I've switched it to the regular light. There we go. And again, you see those spots. Now, the, the, what makes this re-imageable is, much like your sunglasses, once you come in from being outside, they lighten up. This is a reversible reaction. And it's reversed by heat. That's why we have the hot pad on the uh, here. And if I put it on this hot pad just for a few seconds, then when I bring that image back, you'll see that it's gone. Right, now these are just common UV LEDs that you could build into photocopiers, printers, and other mechanisms. Yes, and so, for example, here we just took a UV LED pen um, that's available today, or UV LED light, rather, and I put a small optical tip on it, and I can take this piece of paper and write on it. And in fact... Now we did cheat there. He Gartner. threw the bottom line, because handwriting is slow on stage. And, and of course, the way this will work in systems is it, it'll look just like a standard printer. The, uh, take the LEDs, put those inside a, a, a printer or a multifunction device, sit at your desktop, use your print driver, out comes this paper. You take the paper, put it back in the device, it will get erased and, and re-imaged over and over and over again. And, and remember, given the energy use required to create a piece of paper, if I reuse that the second time, I've improved that by really 50 to 40 percent. So potentially got a significant reduction in the use of printable paper in the office. Yes, yes. Of course, there still will be um, documents uh, that are you want permanent, but we see this as a significant technology.